Alright guys, so today we have been tasked with repairing this motorcycle case. Now where it broke is right here. And this is where the clutch cable goes through. And ultimately ends up on the clutch lever out here and pulls the clutch lever. Now it broke once before and it was repaired and it broke again. And a lot of times what happens is people will try to repair this little section right here. Because this actually is a loop that comes up over and it has a cut in it for... The cable to pass through now the problem with trying to repair this little piece is that this whole thing is cast it's a cast aluminum part it's not a billet part so there are a ton of inconsistencies in the casting so when you try to repair this if you don't use enough heat you don't use the proper methods you are going to have a very hard time with it so the only real way to repair this is you have to reflow all of this cast material get all the pores out of it and get it back to a solid state. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna grind off a good portion of this stuff here, and we're then going to build this up at a decent level with weld material, which will guarantee that we have a solid surface to work with. Then we're gonna drill a hole back through it, put our slice in it, and we'll have an entirely new piece that we will have made on top of this. So what I'm gonna do is set you guys up we're going to clean this off and then we're going to go ahead and actually build up all this material. And then once we get the material built up, then we can start to well, technically machine it so that we have a surface that we can work with. Alright, so now we've got this down to a level where we can now build back on top of it, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're literally going to take the machine and we're just going to place a bunch of wire in here and get it all set up and just literally fill a rod up until we build it high enough to where I feel it's good. And what we're going to do first though is we're going to clean this up and then we're going to reflow all of this cast aluminum. And by refloat, I mean when we start welding on this, what's going to happen is you're going to see a lot of pores and stuff popping out of it. You might not be able to see it, but I'll try to show you if I can get it to do it. And once we get all those pores out of there, we give ourselves a solid base to actually put some filler material in. Once we get the filler material built up, we'll probably take it over to the bridge port, clamp it in, and then just clean it up a little bit, and we'll make it super nice. So we're going to weld it now. So here's exactly what I was talking about. So you see all that garbage? There is a ton of crap coming out of there. You got all kinds of pock marks. You got a little black mark that popped out of there. That's all impurities that are in the casting. So we need to get all of that out before we can start adding filler material. Alright, we're getting better, but we've still got a little spot that's got some nastiness in it that I'm not real happy with.
All right, so there we go. We've got a little bit of metal reflowed on there. Now you can see there's no more pores. There's no messiness. It's actually way better than it was. I don't know how well this camera's focusing on it, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let this cool a little bit in between sessions because this is a, um, a part that's got a ton of little bushings and bearings and seals and all kinds of other stuff and we don't wanna overheat this too much. So we're gonna kinda let it cool off in between building this metal up and this way we get a good bite on everything and we're not screwing this case up. So now we've got the height that we're looking for. And you can see that this is standing up probably an inch and a quarter, maybe, ish. Um, now that we got that height, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this around, rotate it a little bit, so that we can actually add some material on both sides to get enough material. Because again, it doesn't really matter how much we add because we're just gonna take it off, but it's better to be able to take it off than to not have enough in the first place. So we wanna strengthen the base we want to add some material up now that we've built all this stuff up. We're going to smooth it all out with the welder as best we can, and then we'll literally take it probably over to the bridge port and just shape it so that it looks halfway decent. So let's do that. It all chucked up in the bridge port and we're going to be using a very tiny end mill so we can get down deep into that cavity and at a very high speed so let's uh let's get to cutting
So with all the milling done, the rough milling, we just wanted to rough this out because we really can't get in there. This is too weak and it kind of bounces around in the mill. I'm sure you saw that a little bit, but a little bit of shaping with a grinder and a file. And we now have a block that we can work from. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to drill the hole and we're going to cut the slot and then we're going to profile this top edge a little bit to make it look a little bit more like the original. And then we'll clean up some of these seams down here, make it look nice, nice, and we'll be done. Guys, so after machining, or actually after cleaning, welding, machining, drilling, and cleaning up with various files and tools and everything else, this is what we've got. So we went ahead and cut our slot in there to make that good. And now this pedestal is back to exactly where it should be, and it is super strong. Not going anywhere, you gotta say that, but it is good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. It's just a little something different from what we normally do. Um, I do a lot of little tiny repairs like this and I don't tend to film them because they're, you know, they're quick. They take me, I mean, that took me with filming it an hour. So not a very, very long repair, but something cool. You know, it's snapped off of a case. That case is probably three or $400. This repair is gonna cost a third of that, so much better than buying it and it's actually much stronger than the original piece because it's no longer cast it is welded so a lot stronger than the original spot and uh should be good for quite some time so hope you guys enjoyed it hit that subscribe button we hit 20k awesome and uh i will see you guys in the next one have a good one <laughs>